what's up and welcome back to another video today i'm going to share with you what's for dinner i filmed all of our dinners for the week and i cannot wait to share them with you it was my birthday week so it was such a fun week celebrating i will link down in the description box i did vlog my birthday day because it was so fun and i wanted to look back at it in years to come and re-enjoy those memories and cherish them forever but i also want to share them with you guys so if you want to check out my lifestyle channel click the link below and you will find that but i thought how fun to celebrate my birthday then share all the dinners that we had for the week and show you what I made. So let's jump into the first recipe. I personally think it's the best one of the week. It is so delicious and it kind of came together last minute, but those sometimes are the best meals. So let's jump in. Once upon a time, I worked in a really nice high-end coffee shop that also served lunch. This was way like 15 plus years ago before I was even plant-based, obviously. But they served this beautiful Hungarian mushroom soup and they always served it with focaccia bread. So this actually was inspired by their Hungarian mushroom soup, but I just veganized it. And let me tell you, it was spot on. I will leave the recipe, kind of typed out what I did in the description box below because I didn't follow a recipe. I kind of made it up as I went. By looking to see what was in my refrigerator and what I could use. So I used some onion, you saw soy sauce go in the pot, some minced garlic, and then I had this little packet of vegetable broth that you just have to add water to that I also added and I stirred it all up, let the onions cook to put in the mushrooms, and then I had some vegan half and half that I had gotten last week or the week before at the grocery store. If you don't have vegan half and half, just substitute for a nut milk of your choice that's unsweetened, and it'll be super creamy and super delicious. And then you're just going to stir it and then softly bring it to a boil, and then add a cornstarch slurry, which is one part cornstarch and one part water. I usually do about a tablespoon of each, and I feel like that is a really good thickener for me. Oh my gosh, this was so good. And then you just kind of let it um, kind of simmer a little bit, add some seasonings. I added paprika and I didn't add dill. That was the one replacement. I did chives instead because I actually found out my husband doesn't like dill in food except for pickles. So I didn't put dill, which is actually something that was in the original soup recipe that I remember making, I mean, literally every day. <laughs> I was in college and it worked there. And I think we made that soup every night to serve for lunch the next day, but this was so good. You can put this over potatoes. We decided to do rice. You can have it on its own. You could serve it with bread or toast, but please, 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 if you take anything away from this video, any one recipe, make this soup. It is so good. And this is going to be like the perfect fall and winter meal for us. Huge shout out to Green Chef for gifting me another box of meals and it came in on my birthday. So how awesome is that? If you guys have not tried Green Chef before, we have used them multiple times and we absolutely love them. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company with a variety of dishes for all lifestyles, including vegetarian, paleo, keto, and of course, vegan, which is hard to find in meal prep services. But all the recipes are super quick and easy. They give you step-by-step -step instructions with chef's tips and photos to guide you along and everything is hand-picked and delivered right to your door, so it's so convenient. Like I said, we've used Green Chef many times now, and we love it. For us, it's a way to celebrate in our home, and we love to cook and be in our kitchen, and it's just nothing is better than homemade meals. And Green Chef really amps it up with ingredients that personally I would never think to combine. And I feel like they're so inspiring to me on weeks when I'm kind of bored and I just need to be re-inspired. So make sure you go to greenchef.us slash runningonplants100 and use my code runningonplants100 to get $100 off plus free shipping on your first box. You don't want to miss this deal. Please try Green Chef out. I can't wait to hear what you think of them. Like like I said, use code running on plants 100 at greenchef.us slash running on plants 100 and order yourself a box. Get $100 off plus free shipping on your first box. I can't wait to hear what you think of it. Like I said, 
They're just so wonderful and they give me ideas that I would have never thought of. Sometimes they'll send like an apricot jelly, like with this dish that you're seeing here, it was with um, a barley which was toasted in the pan and then you add water and bring it to a boil and cook it off. And then mushrooms and onions and apricot jelly and all of these flavor palettes that I would have never added together on my own, but it gets my brain clicking and then I think, oh, I know exactly a few extra meals that I can do with this and I just love that so much. Green Chef actually inspired the first recipe with the Hungarian mushroom soup for the week because they had set mushrooms and I was like in the soup mood even though it was 100 degrees. So check them out and let me know what you think. was I blessed enough to receive a Green Chef box for the week of my birthday, which to me was a huge celebration in itself. I love food. I also love to be in my kitchen. I love to make my own food. And I feel like these boxes are just like the perfect way to celebrate yourself. Obviously you can get them for convenient reasons as well, but we had one a couple weeks ago on our anniversary. And then we had one this week for my birthday and it was just so fun. And we plan to get more of them when we move into our new house, just to keep celebrating. I love to cook and sometimes to be re-inspired by meals is so fun. Plus I keep the recipe card so that way in the future I can remake these meals and be re-inspired and have some really good ideas on hand. If you want to check Green Chef out make sure to click the link right in the description box below. I put it right in the front so you can't miss it and take me over on Instagram with the meals that you decide to pick. I love that they have vegan options. I feel like that's very rare when it comes to a lot of meal prep services so take advantage of using my code Running on Plants 100, get yourself a discount and let me know what meals that you order. You know both my husband and I love noodle dishes, so I had to throw one in this week because I just had to. So an Asian stir fry packet, some noodles, um, sweet chili sauce and tahini was all that was needed. And this is a one pot meal. You bring your spaghetti or any kind of noodle that you use to a boil. You add your vegetables when they're almost done. You have a minute or two left because um, you are hitting the pot with you know, ice cold frozen veggies. So you wanna make sure your pasta is almost all the way done. Stir it really, really well so it doesn't stick together. And then the clip got deleted of me pouring the sauces into the pan and I was so upset because I was gonna do it in slow-mo because it's so beautiful. But I used a quarter cup of tahini and a quarter cup of sweet chili sauce. And this doesn't look like it's heavily dressed, but trust me, it's perfection. It is so good and so creamy. It has so much flavor. You can add any other spices that you would like. Some fresh garlic would be so, so good. Maybe hit it with a little bit of soy sauce or spicy mustard, but I kept it super simple and oh, it was so good, so good. You need to try this one out too. This last recipe that I'm going to share with you is actually one of the meals that I freezer prepped in my last video. I will go ahead and link that video down in the description box below. You don't want to miss it if you need some freezer meal ideas, but that is actually in that Ziploc bag is actually lentil sloppy joe mix. Oh my word. For busy, busy nights, having meals like this or Green Chef is like perfection. And all I did is cut up some cucumbers and tomato, put some balsamic vinegar on that, toasted a bun, and had lentil sloppy joes. And the nice thing about this is you can kind of eat it in shifts because I just warmed it up really quickly in the microwave. What I do for this type of freezer meal is I actually will pull it out of the freezer the night before so it's completely unthawed in my refrigerator and then I can just warm it up really quickly, toast a bun. Literally, this takes like 30 seconds. It's so Thank easy. you so much for watching today's video. I have a special guest that I actually want to interview and ask him what he thought his favorite meal of the week was. <laughs> Come over here. Okay, so I have to ask you. Oh, you're so tall. I did with the camera. Scooch down a little bit. <laughs> no, this is good. Let's just let's just roll with this. Oh, uh, this is this is good. Rescooching again. <laughs> Tell me what your favorite meal of the week was because I need to know. Well, first off, thanks for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, happy birthday. Thank you. And I believe my favorite meal was the mushroom soup stuff, whatever it was. It was like a spin on Hungarian on mushroom soup. Top of rice. Oh, and it was, it was, was it really good? And I, I, it's, it's my moment. It's my moment. It's your birthday. It's my moment. And uh, the reason I liked it was because it was salty, it was creamy, 
it was the mushrooms are perfectly cooked and I would have this again anytime you made it. Um, Which will probably be soon because it was amazing. And it took like five minutes to throw together. The rice obviously cooks in the pressure cooker really quickly, but like it was such a surprise meal. I wasn't planning on making it, but it kind of just threw it together for dinner one night. And then he had all the leftovers and he was like, is there any more? And I was like, no, but we need to make it again, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. So please make, a, if you're gonna make anything from this recipe video, make that one for sure. Mm -hmm. And tag me over on Instagram and let me know what you think of it. It's so easy. If you can't find the, um, I did say this in the recipe video, but if you can't find the uh, vegan half and half that I use, just use like cashew or almond milk, unsweetened obviously, you don't want the sweetened kind. It'll be so good. Mm -hmm. But thank you for your review. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye. Okay, thank you for scooching. <laughs> okay, so what was your favorite meal that I made this week? Well, first off, <laughs> I cannot thanks, get thanks you for having me. Thanks for not caring about the top of my head. <laughs>